Hi everyone, Sridhar here and wish you all a very good morning. We all see ourselves as a hero through our own eyes. In this video, let us see how we can influence the other person by not destroying their self-image, self-esteem and self-pride. The first example which I am going to use happened in front of my own eyes. I was having a senior on my ship and this senior used to sit in a chair in the mess room and he used to have his food. And that chair used to be, you know, totally different and uh, like a king size chair. I used to think when I will be sitting in that chair. But one day around six o'clock in the evening, we used to have food on the ship every day. I happened to go there. Fortunately or unfortunately, I saw him sitting in a different chair, which was totally small. I asked him, sir, this is not your chair. Your chair is supposed to be that one. Why are you sitting here? He said, company did not like my work so they wanted me to go home so I'm going home so that chair I cannot sit anymore in that chair can you see here in this case when he was telling all these things his eyes were totally filled with tears I'm very sure now something will be coming to your mind the same situation could have been handled in a much better way I will give another example how a different company handled the same kind of situation. A person was very good in his subject, but he was not good in managing people. But the company knew that he is so important to the company and they cannot literally hurt his emotions, cannot hurt his ego. So they said, you know what, we are giving you another post. In the same company, you will be doing the same job, but the post is different. They gave him a different post and, you know, managing people job was done by somebody else. In this way, this person did not feel bad because he did not lose his self-esteem and pride in front of other people. Another example is when I was third engineer, first time third engineer, I was so confident in what I was doing. Basically, little overconfidence. So now I did something and it happened to be a mistake. I was totally, you know, nervous because when my senior engineer is going to come during the break time, he is definitely going to ask what happened and he is definitely going to get angry on me. I was very sure of that. You know, I was shivering like anything because of my mistake, other people had to work extra time and they have to put their extra energy. The senior came, he listened to everything and he said to me, Sridhar, you know, this is just because of lack of experience and I have seen your previous works. You are, you are actually doing a good job. So it happens sometimes. First time third engineer, it happens. So don't worry. Uh, you know, that day you did a good job. I'm sure next time you won't repeat this. In this example, can you see? I was able to maintain my self-esteem and self-pride in front of all the other people. In this case, if somebody is doing a mistake, there is a 100% better solution where you can handle this kind of situation in a much diplomatic way. If you tell them directly in front of all the other people or in fact, even if you tell privately that you are not good for this job, obviously they are going to feel like, you know, the company is company has used me and now they are throwing me you know a feeling of disappointment this is never going to be forgotten it is going to be carried in their heart for a very long time and next time even if you wanted that person they are definitely not going to come the same situation if you uh, have the same situation happened in a different place in a different environment the person was not doing the job properly but the company you know what they said uh, because of some internal issues we have to let you go but you know on that particular day you did a very good job it saved lot of money to the company and they can give a small party or treat to that person and tell him you know just because of this situation we have to let you go but please you know we are expecting you to come back when we need so please come back so in this way they will feel like oh just because of the situation they are telling me to go but if they really wanted obviously they will be keeping me on that particular company. So if we can understand from this video, this one thing that we all want to be respected, we all want to feel important. So by giving the importance and making sure we are not putting the other person's 
esteem, self-esteem and pride down, they are going to feel like emotionally connected with you and they will do whatever you want whenever you call them. So with this, I am ending this video. If you can relate any experiences with whatever I have said so far, please share it so that the others can learn from you as well. And as always, sharing is caring. Bye.